The United States, UK and now Germany. Israeli allies are openly critical of its actions in Gaza. The recorded death toll, it's crossed 32,000, the highest in any recent conflict. Israeli allies are now considering putting conditions for further military aid to the country. Our top story for this episode, we tell you how the Gaza war might just cost Israel its allies. The Biden-Netanyahu phone call was as close as it could have gotten to the come to Jesus moment. On Thursday, the American president held talks with Israel's wartime leader. It was the harshest tone the American president has taken against his Jewish ally in the war. The message was clear. Avoid civilian deaths and do more to let aid into Gaza if you want continued support. With regard to our policy in Gaza, look, I'll just say this. If we don't see the changes that we need to see, there'll be changes in our own policy. The relationship is changing, clearly. We've gone from a hug to a handshake to a slap on the wrist today. Uh, the relationship has evolved from full support for Israel, its right to defend itself. But as Secretary Blinken said at the start, how you do this matters, and it's mattering more and more. This is the first time since October 7th last year that America threatened conditional support for Israel's offensive in Gaza. The stern warning followed an Israeli airstrike that killed seven volunteers working with the World Central Kitchen. The non-profit organization's operations in Gaza have been halted since the attack. The group's founder, Jose Andres, has accused Israel of systematically targeting aid workers. So this was not just a bad luck situation where, oops, uh, we dropped the bomb in the wrong place or, or no. This was over 1.5, 1.8 kilometers with a very defined humanitarian convoy that had signs in the top, in the roof, uh, a very colorful logo that we are obviously very proud of, but that, that's very clear who we are and what we do. The deaths have increased pressure on Israel, from the US to UK and Germany. Its top allies want Israel to read the room. They want Israel to follow international law. Israel has called the incident a grave mistake. Its military officials have issued an apology and promised a high-level probe into the strike. Since the talks, Israel has approved the opening of two routes into Gaza to allow more humanitarian aid into the territory. The Erez Gate in northern Gaza will be temporarily reopened for the first time since the start of the conflict. And Ashdod port will also be opened for humanitarian deliveries. Washington has welcomed Israel's latest efforts to allow more aid into Gaza. But the U.S. says success will be measured in terms of aid reaching those desperately in need. <laughs> Meanwhile, tensions remain high with rival Iran. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei has promised a slap on the face response after Israeli strikes on the Iranian consulate in Damascus killed at least 10 officials. This failure of the Israeli regime in Gaza will definitely continue as well as these desperate efforts like what they did in Syria. Of course, they will be slapped for this action. Tehran has vowed that its response would be of the same magnitude and harshness. And in its anticipation, Israel has suspended leave for combat units and heightened its air defense command to deal with possible missile or drone attacks from Iran. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.